Hello everyone, welcome back to All the Mod 7 to the Skies Or In Space is what I'm kind of calling it Because obviously we are, wow it looks like we're in space So it's a good idea, that's where I put my transmutation tablet So as you can see I've done a little bit of redecorating I mean it's quite empty, right now it is at least there's a load of stuff I want to do in here. I want to flatten or like give corners to a bunch of stuff. So, um, carpenter's blocks. No, it's not called that anymore, is it? Framed? Yeah, there we go. So we've got these framed slopes. I want to put those like in the corners and, you know, sideways here. So there's like a slope here and so on and so on. I'm going to do that another time though. And um, I have done nothing in here yet. So, but what you might notice, well, other than the fact that I've ripped down my whole base again, because, well, all my, like, crafting areas and stuff. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I did it. I actually did the thing that I said that I would do between episodes. Uh, but for now, <laughs> none, of my, none of my resource gathering is currently working. Uh, so this might turn off at some point. But tis fine, tis fine. Uh, I am going to stick this there for now. Yeah. Uh, I did set this back up because I was like, oh, I might run out of uh, uranite. But then I realised all of my uh, stuff is in drawers. So I had a plan, and that, that plan was to go to the Twilight Forest and do some Twilight Foresty stuff. Because we need to do that in the end. Right, not in, not in the end, in the Twilight Forest, but you know what I mean. Like, in the end of doing stuff in this pack, we need to actually go to the Twilight Forest, thanks to the Oblivion Shard thing, this thing. So it wants us to get this Snow Queen trophy thing. I actually have no idea how to get this. And I don't know if it's the... I think you have to go through several bosses. Because did we have a look in here? Where is it? Uh, there's the tombstone. Oh, there's... I didn't know there was a... Oh, that's cool. Wow, they're all over the place. Uh, Twilight Forest, that's the one we're looking for. So, for now, obviously we have to go kill the Naga. Eventually we'll get... Yeah... We can go... Do the whole quest ram thing. You know, that's where you give all the different types of, like, wool and things to a ram. And then, yeah. A uh, red cat snap it in a medium hollow hill. And then we got to go defeat a twilight lich. Oh, not, not lich. Um, wraith. I think the lich comes later. In a large hollow hill. Craft a maze map. Okay. Get your axe and shears ready. Search every nook and cranny of everything. Uh, craft, loot, obtain every slab, sapling, leaf. More everything, all of it. Arr, okay, so there's like all the different types of stuff you can get from the Twilight Forest. And it wants you to like at least obtain, you know, in your inventory that stuff for a bit. And then eat every food. I actually kind of want to do this, because we didn't do it in all the mods, you know, to the floor, so. Uh, slay the Naga, what, do you have to do that four times? It says four remaining, interesting. And then get that going. Okay, well, we'll do some of the Twilight stuff later. What I kind of want to do today, I need to set everything back up, but. You guys have seen that like loads of times and I don't really have the time today to do it yet. I mean I do if I spent the episode on it but I don't want to do that because you guys have seen it already. So, uh, by the way I'm not done like in here either. Um, I've got some stuff I need to do like I think there's like a big circle pattern that goes this is oh hello this is what I'm thinking is like the um, landing bay. Looks a bit weird having this here. 
uh, small square. That's exactly what I want. Kind of works a little bit better, right? You can land in here. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so um, this is going to have a circle in the middle. I saw that in the show and everything. There is a trader right up here. What have you got for me, laddie? Ooh, that might be good. Is that pack dice as well? Yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'll leave him to it. I'm not going to kill him because we can run away from him basically, so no point killing him. Um, you know what I could do? This might be interesting uh, because I've never done it before. Uh, I haven't just cleared my bookmarks either. I need to set bees back up at some point, but I don't know. Bees are a bit. I'm not going to say boring, but right now uh, there's other stuff we could be doing. I did make some bee cages. I meant to do this. In fact, I did do this earlier and then I picked it up a second ago because it turns out you can't use dense cable with uh, these these things. I think you have to use the smaller version. So, you see we've got this smart cable. I made some right there, this dense covered cable. Uh, you make this by combining covered cable basically and you need to use either the Fluix uh, ME glass cable or the regular you know covered cable so this 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 stuff here a bit of wool so we might have to automate oh, we don't even need to do that because we can get string from here right yeah there we go so we get like four stacks of string There you go, we've got a stack of wool, right, right like that, so it's not too bad. Um, in fact, I might make some of this. Yeah, it's just turn all of it. I'm out of wool. It is fine, it is fine. Um, the way I'm doing this now, by the way, is... I'm trying to think of channels a little bit more. So, I've never really had to use channels, because I've always just swapped to refined storage, if I'm honest. Uh, but the way I'm using this is I've got an export, a single export bus, so I don't have to export into both. Going into this frame draw, so it's a 2x2 two two frame draw. And then in this, well you can see right there, I've got the four items that go into the Nitro Reactor. And then I've got a pipe that comes out and it goes into both. So that one's full, that one's full. I think the Draw would be full if we had all of the stuff for it, right? So it looks like we're out of redstone and... What was it? It was redstone and coal we are out of because they're in drawers. Excellent. But yeah, what I was thinking was quantum ring. We should make a quantum ring. So we need a quantum ring and a link chamber. No idea what else you need for, for wireless. This is like the wireless uh, network stuff that you can get for refined storage. That's why I'm sort of looking at it. It's a lot bigger than I... I. It's not a lot bigger than I thought. It's just like a lot more hassle than I thought. <laughs> Have I not made one of these yet? Pattern access terminal. I should probably do that. Because you get like quest rewards and things. And I've made this. I don't see... Oh, hello. Do you need a quantum entangled singularity? Create a singularity. Oh, just a regular singularity, not a quantum entangled one. Okay. Or maybe it is. To create... Drop one singularity on one ender dust and cause an explosion within range of the items. Okay. On singularity. Sing. That's a singularity. This is the thing I was thinking of. So we do. Oh, poop. We do need to make one of these uh, 64Ks. And I'll probably make like a ton of singularities because there's a really cheap way of doing it with a sink, if I remember correctly. 
how the heck do you make that again? So it's one of these matter condensers. Uh, you're all right. okay. Uh, draws. I might as well just grab all of the draws out for now, and I'm just gonna scatter them about again. It's like a huge system for what we're doing, but oh well. Let's just do it because why the heck not? Let's do one of these. Grab them all out. And now I'm just going to flop them down, like... Oh, and they don't... They don't autofill into my hand. So that's a bit of a bit of an annoyance right there. Let's take these cables away for now. No, not in there, you... Okay, cool. That's empty. Why is that empty? Interesting. Well... Might mean that we don't need this one. Oh no, which one was it? Okay, I think it's this one. Yes, because everything else, except for the, the, the compacting drawers don't have like what's in there. Uh, we could just hover over until I find the one that I need, but it doesn't look like there's any here, but I'm, I need to get these like down anyway, right? Uh, it's, yeah, it's that one over there, so just got to remind myself not to put that one down. I'll put a few more over in this direction because, well, uh, the controller can only go a certain distance. As in, not this controller, but the uh, the draw controller. And that one. Okay, let me get all of these down and I'll link it all back up and everything. And then we'll be back in a sec. Okay, this is what it ended up looking like. So, all over the place, to begin with. Uh, and everything's connected. Thank you to the storage controller right here. Uh, I've got an X... Sorry, a storage bus, not an external storage, my bad. I'm using a smart Fluix, ME smart cable, whatever you call it. I'm using one of those. These things are really cool because you can see like the channels that you're using on the line right there. So I think each side of these can do 32 channels, each side of this cube that we've got right here. And you can add multiple of these on if you know what I mean. So we've got one, two, one on the back there, three, one on the back there, four, and then one underneath. So that's five. Plus six right here. If we were to add another cube on top, we'd have one, two, one on top, one on bottom, three, four, one on this side, wait, two on this side, two on that side, two on that side. So it like increases the amount of channels you can overall have. Don't think this is the best idea doing what I'm doing right here, where you've got a single, oh, what, what are these called? Like the small cables. Let's call them small cables for now. So these can only do, I believe, eight channels. I think that's right. So they, these can do eight channels. So off of, so for example, if I had more smart cable and I went off like this and then I went like really, really far in this direction, I don't know, 64, and then I put like 64 storage buses on here. This would just crap out, or at least I think a few of them would crap out and they'd be like, nah. So like this one all the way up to the eighth one would work and then stop working after that. So yeah, anyway, I'm trying to think of channels a bit more. Oh yeah, that was it. So what we could do is have a dense cable here and then off of that dense cable, we can have, oh, how many is there? So a dense cable can do 32 and you can have four of these like off each side of those, uh, four of these regular cables to make, well, 32 divided by four is eight, am I right? Yeah, yeah, 
So basically, you need to use these to connect these sort of things. And these things will connect to the dense version and the dense version can get all of the channels out of the side. There we go. I got there in the end. Right, what we need to do is we need to make this sort of stuff and this sort of stuff. So I need to make a couple more of the processes, but as you notice, I got the inscriber right here. Move this over slightly because it was kind of in the way. We will find a permanent position for this at some point. Now, oh, I think for now it's fine up here. Uh, I do kind of want to make a couple, of, couple more of these. Uh, what's it called? Advanced Inscriber. Uh, that's not it. This one. Oh, you need a couple of engineering. That's fine. So we need... I want to make four overall. So we need three of these, meaning we need six engineering processes. You've seen how to make one of those. So I'm going to go make those and then we'll be back. And then I'll set up some patterns for those. And we are back. Um, I just tried to sleep because it's raining and it's quite loud in here. Whoa, annoying. Uh, this is what I come up with for now. Uh, it's nasty, it's very nasty. So I apologize. This one says two and then it goes down to one. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but oh well. Two channels, I mean. This one's got four channels because it's got one, two, three, and then this one is four. Uh, but now, uh, because I put in a pattern right here, this pattern is just one silicon makes a printed silicon. This one, one diamond makes a printed engineered circuit and calculation and logic. This one up here has got the uh, patterns right there. So, I was just trying to make some more acceleration cards because then I could speed everything up. So I can go to calculation Let's do 20 and it will go off and it will start chomping. Right, there you go, that one just did one. So it's just these two that kick on because that's all I'm like looking for right now. I can speed it up by lobbing these ones in here. Uh, we give you one as well. In fact, let's take two out of here and then there you go, even. Evens it out. So. Yeah, as I said, I want to make some more of the cards, which is like that. Ah. What? Oh, do I not have any sand? Okay, I need some sand as well. Cards. Did we, did we get sand in our transmutation? Yeah, for some reason we have sand, which is good for us. So that means we can do this and this and then enrichment chamber now you can go right here there you go I could get an importer sorry import bus and stick it there Output to that side, do something like that. So these should be going down. They're quite slow because the import is quite slow, right? So but there you go. I think what happens is it, it accelerates. So it's like I'll get one and then I'll get another and then I'll get another, 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 and then it just keeps going. Like, <laughs> so fingers crossed, I can do this now. So I've got 10. So it's pretty boss. Put some in there, put some in there. Just need to, ooh, okay. I must have made far too many of those, but that is absolutely fine, because we can, there we go. Make a bunch of acceleration, because why the heck not? There's probably a reason why not, but definitely want it in this one here, because that'll do all of my processing. So we've got automated-ish. Automated uh, crafting when it comes to the, uh, what are they called? Logic processor, calculation, and engineering processor. 
Awesome. That's good. It's chunky. It's very chunky, which is why I wanted to get my quantum singularity up and running. Quantum... I've already got it over here. I also kind of need this. Because this is a quest. So, illumination pane. I uh, feel like we're going to need quite a lot of that glass, so... Let's just chuck those in there. Those illumination panes seem to be used in like quite a lot of recipes. I do need to set up like a massive auto craft. I might do it in a compact machine. Oh, oh, it's bliss. It stopped raining. Uh. Quest. So what does this one do? Eh. Oh, cool. We can see all of our like. This is like a crafting monitor, pretty much, right? So. Oh, you can even pull out and put it back in. Advanced inscribers right there. We can put some stuff in the energizing orb. That's pretty boss. Especially when we have crafting in our compact machine. Then we can see it out here. Because I'm, I'm planning on doing some wirelessy stuff, right? So. Nice one. Right, what, what have we got to do next? So... I think we need eight of, no, we need 16 of these. So we need 32 logic, 16 engineering. Processor. And before we go ahead with that, does this need any? No. Awesome. That does need dense, which is fine, because I think I have 16 dense that I was testing out earlier, so. Good, good for me. 31 because we've got one here. And then I don't think we've got enough processors right now. That's crafting storage. Eh. Yeah, I think it can only do one of our crafts at a time. I probably should have set the engineering one off first, but oh well. I did test this earlier, right? And it did work, I believe. Why am I not getting any? Are you connected over here? You should be. I mean, this one's zero channels. Zero channels, zero channels, one channel, two channels. I swear this said multiple channels a second ago. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could use configurator like that. It's pretty awesome. So that now has a channel. Okay, there we go. It's because this took up all of the channels for some reason. Weird. There you go. Is that, is that broken it again? Zero channels, yes. Fine, you will have to go in here then for now. Uh, all good. I think, yeah, there you go. They're all coming in now. That's not, not that bad, is it? Like, the speed seems quite crap, but it is fine. It is fine. I don't know why it broke either. Is this still going? I think the silicon's finished. I don't think it says. Wait, it says it right here. Maybe it is waiting for silicon, and the silicon is broken. And now for something completely different. Yeah, um, I decided we, uh, want, well, I wanted to get this matter condenser working. And I remembered that you need a logic cable. Well, at least I'm going to do it with uh, integrated dynamics because it's super easy once you, because it's just these two bits. So I need to make one of these, which is one of those. I did make a couple of these crystallized mineral chunks. So th this was a bit of a convoluted way of doing things, right? First off, you need to get the saplings, so these ones, and you get those from sieving any type of leaf. 
I think you can get it from anything from flint upwards. Yeah, you've got a chance of getting it. So I stuck that, I stuck like a couple of things of leaves in my sieves. I put like half a stack in each of my sieves and then I did manage, I got like one or two drops of that, which is pretty good. Then you plant it and then you get, well, I got some mineral logs right here and I did the manual setup right over here. So you have to jump up and down on it. There you go. And then that turns that into the blocks of it. But we just need, what was it? It was, so there's some variable cards. And now I'm just missing a piston. Do one of those. And then I need to make one of these, which then lets us make one of those. And we actually need, a, well, we can lob everything away pretty much. But at integrated dynamics, we need one of the logic programmers. So one of these things. Shouldn't be that bad. Because we got this now. Slap that in there, grab one variable card. We can actually turn it into a programmer portable one. So do this, go integer, uh, 9,000, and then give it like that amount of zeros, as many zeros as you want, really. Then that is like that. So I think it's this side and then this side. And then export fluid amount. Chuck that in there. This is lobbing as much. Wow. That number per tick pretty much into this. So all we need to do is get the 64K. So let's do the calculations again. I think I've got like most of the stuff already to get a 64K. Let's have a look. So... At applied, why is it not coming up in here? Surely I've got some sort of applied stuff in here. Did I spell that wrong? At up. Very weird that it isn't showing up because I should at least have the craftables. Let's get rid of those two now and that and that and that. Oh no, I did want. This is weird. No idea why it's not showing any of my applied energetic items. Processors? Yeah, they're right there. Applied energetics. Does it not use the hashtag? Am I off with that? Oh, no, did I just do a hashtag instead of an at? I did do an at. At should be the mod. Maybe it's different, I don't know. But if we do that, then we can have a look through here. I swear we used like enough to make a 16. Because we... Yeah, we did this one up here, the crafting storage right there. Can we make a bunch of ones at one point? Oh, well, we can make more. Uh, 1k. So we need 27 logic processors. Logic processors. So we've got 19 right now. Did this thing stop? I swear I had I programmed more of these a second ago. But let's just say guess eight more. You are. Okay, for some reason that one broke. Interesting. I think it has something to do with this one because we were out of channels at one point. So it was like, nope, not going to do it. This is also pretty cool. The advanced inscriber, you don't need like a input as such, uh, like a, an importer or anything like that. It just knows to put it back in the system. So there's 27. 27 of those. Easy peasy. 
and then calculations for the 4Ks. Calculation for the 16Ks, and then what is it for the 64K? Calculation it is, sweet. So if I remember correctly, we need like nine calculations. There you go. So these two have fired up and these two are making us the bits and bobs we need right there. Uh, why did that one? Did I, I, I asked for nine, didn't I? Why are you screwing up? I don't get it. Uh, start. I think it just doesn't want to send the correct amount. That's so strange. Anyway, yeah, that did finish at least, so that's good. Yeah. So that's nine. Okay, so it's nine for these, and then three for the next one. Is that right? Wait. Three of these makes three sixteens, and then one more. So four more of these. Start. See, it put four in there this time. I don't understand why that was uh, being a pain just now. Oh well. Uh, did I already have some 4Ks? Because it says I can make four of those. Anyway, there's a 64. So if I change this, instead of that, it's going to make singularities. Just a couple of singularities, you know, just 64 of them. Maybe, maybe double that. That's how quick it is to make singularities in this pack. That's why in the ocean block pack, it was a pain because we didn't have a sink. So we couldn't put stuff in to, yeah. And singularities was like one of the end game things you needed a lot of. Uh, we ended up having like a field of the matter condensers, but anyway. Um, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that you can use, I, I think we did look at this, didn't we? And we need to make like a crazy looking matter infuser. Yeah, we will definitely get to that at some point. I think, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need to, I don't know, do something about that. Anyway, uh, with this, I think if we get some ender pearls, so if we get, I don't know, let's get eight. And we chuck these in here, and we have eight of these. TNT, there's mini TNT as well, which Applied Logistics adds. And let's get a redstone, redstone torch. Uh, that's not what I want to put down. So if I stick that there and control shift Q Q. Ah, uh, my magnet. Thank you, magnet. Okay. Ah, oh, brilliant. Okay. Let's try this again. Um. I don't know how to handle this then. Ah, I have a plan. I suppose the easiest way is just get a bunch of redstone and then we can just lob it over. And then what we can do is put the redstone torch here and it should set that off. I think that's how that's gonna work. Go. Probably shouldn't have done this in our base, but it's a little to Excellent. I probably deserve that. Yeah, about that. 
Out of everything, it dropped out the bottom. That is brilliant. I think that's either that or it, it, it just destroyed it because I got it wrong. Luckily, we have more. <laughs> Singularities. Oh, man. That's pretty funny, to be fair. End of pearls. Okay, in that case, we will do it. Uh, we're not going to do it here. I will fix that hole later. In fact, I'm going to leave it. No, let's do it now. Concrete. Is there simply lights mod in this? Or simple lights? Uh, lights. No. Oh. It doesn't look like it's in this. Ah, damn. That goes really well with the uh, white concrete, but now oh well. Okay, right, so. We need another tiny mini <laughs> TNT. We're not going to do it where we did it last time. We are just going to do it like right in the corner. Uh, no. If we do it there, then we could do that, and that that'll be our activation area. Oh, you kidding? Oh, you... At least I grabbed the singularities. It's not like we lost anything there. Uh, I'm probably struggling with this, aren't I? So... Okay, we didn't lose a thing right there. What is under this block? Okay, it's the same. No, oh, wrong way round. Maybe I deactivate my magnet. That's probably a good idea. I know we could do it here. I don't know why we didn't do it here in the first place, to be fair. Let's have another go. Am I reading this right? So, singularity. So I want a quantum one. Ender dust. Excellent. So it did just get destroyed previously. Uh, how do I make the end of dust then? What's a good way of doing it? I bet the crusher will do it. Um, Macerator. And uh, dust. Probably the one from Applied Energistics. Oh, you just smell it. Easy, easy. Yeah, let's do that then. Um, I've changed this up a little bit. This is going directly into my system now. Previously, oh, you need to be in a, a normal furnace. That's excellent, brilliant. Uh, yeah, anyway, so previously this, so if I pop out, I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, this was going into our draw controller, but now I'm just getting it into my system because I, we've barely used any of our storage as it is. So if there's like a bit of overflow, one of these fills up, We'll notice it because we won't have any room. So I think that's fine. It's fine for now. Um, let's get cobble. Let's make ourselves a regular furnace. And I'll burn some mineral logs just because. Eh, like that. Mm. Eh. Okay, that was itching my brain a little. So let's do that. Why are you not? I swear it just said, oh, you sod. It says blast furnace. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Blast furnace. We can make one of those anyway. So that's, that's good to see. Right, this might take a little while, so I'll be back in a sec. And there we go. That gave me a little bit of time to go get a drink and stuff, so... Worth it. Um, we've got a tiny TNT. Let me stick that down. I'm going to take off 
our magnet and I'm going to turn it off for now lob that down, lob that down and ah, nice and the cool thing is they come in pairs I'm not entirely sure what to do down here. Uh, this is going to be like a corridor and then another corridor that goes all the way down the middle and I'll have like a command room maybe at the front. I was thinking command room should go at the top because that's where it is in the show. You can see it. They like do a couple of like zoom ins. Eh. Nope. Eh. Let's get outside. Easier to see when we're out here. So they do some zoom ins and it's like this area here. So this could be, I'd like to put some glass here and then we can see out, that look kind of cool. Uh, and I was thinking about it, the aluminium looks pretty boss. It's quite expensive though, it's like one third of a, is it emeralds? Emeralds don't have EMC, so I had a comment recently that was like, just make a, an invoker, or no, what's the other one? Vindicator spawner, and you get loads of emeralds, but they don't have EMC now. I don't know if that was the case in one of the previous versions, but yeah, they, they've removed that from having EMC, so you can't use this anymore as like a way of generating EMC, unfortunately. But I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. Oh, I need my magnet. Mag. Definitely need this magnet. So let's chuck that back on. Stick it in my charm slot. Out of the way then. Cool. All of that was just so we could get some quantum entangled singularities. And if I do quantum again, I can grab the one that I missed earlier. So this thing. So I need the one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we need two of these. So there's the two that we're going to need. Oh, this is going to be a painful recipe. So we need, this is what I was trying to make earlier, right? So 16 of these, 32 logic, 16 engineering. So let's, let's do that and actually do it this time. So 16 engineering start. It only did like eight right there. I'm not exactly sure why. It might be to do with the, unless it's going up again. See, it just stopped. I'm so confused by that. Maybe we do one at a time on all of these. Maybe that's the thing. So let's cancel that because for some reason it broke. 16, start. Uh, what? <laughs> silicon stopped, but why did the silicon stop? Oh, this is so stupid. I have a plan actually. I did a pretty okay way of making like, so I used, I, I did use refined storage previously to like automate making the uh, inscribers. No, 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 what's it called? The, the bits and bobs that you get from this. So like the circuits, that's, that's the one. Yeah. And the silicon and stuff. And I used, Draws to do that, draws that then pushed into these things. And I think I can do the same. So I could have a draw that has these four things in them, right? So silicon, diamond, uh, the what they called certus quartz crystals, and the gold from here. 
the four things because I believe that means that only this one here can only accept some silicon and then I use the pipes from mechanism to like push into these and that would only use one provider and we can even not even use a drawer and just use a chest and that way we can have all of yeah all of the bits go back into that chest once it's crafted and then get pulled out and put into this one why is there diamond in there i don't understand why it put diamonds in there odd is it because it is the these two must be interacting because it put some in there and that's that's what it is never mind then i just need to move these over but i do need to give these power as well which is why they're here because there's power cables I mean, you can see them right there power cables ah poop okay i'll have to figure something out for that then I, I won't do that right now but i'll do that at some point uh did that actually finish cancel we've got 11. uh five start silicon didn't even start right there did that put it's waiting on the silicon one two three four Manual, but not manual. <laughs> so weird. Okay, there we go. So now, processors. We've got the 16 we need. Now I need to do the same thing, but with this 32. You know what? I, I am going to move these now, because otherwise that will bother me. So let's do that. I could almost move this one down as well so it's not like right there yeah screw it let's do it uh, so this one can go here I don't think they're connected to the system if I do that though it is fine I have a plan uh, I can just put a cable right here Cable. Let's use some smart cable because we can. There you go. What's stopping me from just putting it right here? And then something like that. And then, oh, I know what's stopping me. Power. <laughs> I don't have the power for that. That is fine because I could put a flux point down, stick another one there with another cable. That could work, I think. Stick this flux point down like that. There you go, those two have power now. So what's what are we gonna make this one? Silicon. And this one is engineering and this one here is these ones let's have this have a go again uh, <laughs> processors 32 start okay I do want to set all of these to just back to the way they were There we go. So that should be bringing in processors. Perfect. Okay, we solved our issue, and that is don't have another inventory up against the pattern provider. Otherwise, it will just try and put into that instead. What was the reason we were doing this? Ah, yeah, for these things. We also need to make 
16 of these if we've got the materials. We do. So we do. And we need some dense, dense cable. And I think, does it have to be smart cable or can it be? Oh, it has to be smart cable. Okay. That is fine. We've got the dense smart cable there as well. Let's try and make this. So there's the quantum ring. Quantum thingy like that. And then we can take these two. And then all we need to do is power the ring on the other side. And I think you can lay this flat. So I might put it up here if I've got room. So that one goes in the middle. Ah, I won't be able to get to that though. There you go. I can at least get to it from the outside. Uh, that one and that one. And there you go. We've got a quantum ring. Quantum entangled ring on our system right there. So that one is entangled to this one. I'm going to forget about those, like which one's which, very easily. I just know it at some point in this Let's Play. But with that, what we can do is set up a second ring. So I'll do it over here, for example. Like that. I can't just wang this in and it'll be fine because we need to give this power so we do have an energy acceptor okay acceptor there it is flux point which we've got a few of already set up I believe I can just slap that on there Does this need a cable? Looks like that's online now. If I take this off, do you see like these this blue is like flashing and now it isn't. Let me just destroy that. No. Okay, cool. So now if I were to do this and then I go get like, I don't know, what was that screen that we were having issues with? I mean, an illumination plane is not really what we're looking for, is it? Uh, pattern thingy? There you go. Awesome. Carry on, why do you work with that? That is just ridiculous. Also, you can use configurator on that, I forgot. That's pretty good. You can't use it on the flux points. Excellent. Right, we will probably play with this in the next episode in a nice new compact machine. Everything is dead. Is it because I put that up? Yes. Excellent. That's not good. Uh, I might need to move this then. Uh, this over here should be connected to everything, so maybe we will remove this cable. Is it dead dead or is it because it's out of channels? Let's have a look. So we've got one. Now, I'll tell you what, easy. Easiest thing. No, no come on. Eh, eh, okay. Sure, uh, and then we can stick these back on like that. What? Why, why did that now work? <laughs> what did I do? Did I break something? Because now it, it's working again. Is it because I'm using smart cable? No, can't be. It's just two channels, this one here and this one here. 
and then that's using six channels. I think including this thing. So that is eight channels altogether. Maybe it was because I removed this. Fine, whatevs, that seems to work. But as I said, we're gonna figure that one out in the next episode. I might move this into a compact machine and we'll have like some automated stuff in compact machine. Right, anyway, let's have a look at the stats. Did a little bit off camera today. Good amount, I'd say. So we are at 1.35 days. So I did like 0 point something days, 0 0.2 or 3 today. It's pretty good, I think. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. So, just a short update for today. They fixed the wall. <laughs> it looks awesome. The uh, the guy came around today and he was like, yeah, well, it shouldn't take me too long to do that and the rest of the stuff you need doing in the house. Uh, I'll probably be here until about two-ish. And at like 2.15, he was like, yeah, I'm done. Come and have a look. So he came in here and he's done everything for us. He's put like one of these angle bead things in here which is like a bit of metal that like uh it's got a bit going that way a bit going that way and it's got a perfect 90 degree angle so he's done that obviously this bit here is a bit messy but that's fine because it's got plastic all over it so we can pull that off It'd be really satisfying when we can pull that off to be fair the um tyler is going to be very pleased with this because we don't have that little bit that was here before do you remember there was like a a line oh super super pleased about that because it was one of those things that was worrying us so last thing that needs doing before the tyler get the sink in there's um a bit of an issue with the plumber unfortunately i think he he hurt himself a little bit last time he was here so he might not be able to come and fit this before the plant no the um tyler gets here which is a bit disappointing but that might mean that i am going to be doing some tiling <laughs> uh, not tiling either tiling or i'll be doing the fitting if you know what i mean so if the tyler comes and he says i'm not going to be able to do this because you haven't got the sink there so i can't tile behind it which is what I'm thinking he's going to say. I will either say to him, that's fine. I'll tile when the sink comes. Or if he has a look at this area, because we sent him some pictures today and he says, I'm going to definitely need that sink. I'm going to have to figure out how to put the freaking sink on, which I have no idea. That's going to be interesting. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've got quite a bit coming up. We also need to paint everything. Not in here, but in the other other rooms. It's quite dark right now, so apologies, but I need to paint all of this. This is being stripped right now. So this is where we put some uh, chemicals on it and then you scrape it off. So all of the paint will come off, which would be really good because then we can paint it whenever. Uh, but ideally we strip this and paint it this weekend so we've got like I don't know five days or something like that because on Monday this is getting carpeted all of this this room's getting carpeted this room's getting carpeted and they're also doing the stairs so we wanted to do this as soon as we could because we need to strip this of paint and paint it before the carpet comes in otherwise we'd have to strip it afterwards and we don't want to get our new, brand new, lovely carpet all dirty. So that's going to be interesting because the flooring in there is not going to come for a while. So we're going to need a pair of Crocs for up here as well. I might get my flip-flops for the bathroom and Crocs for when we're downstairs. But yeah, that is the update for today.